Hey guys! I feel like my bun is so big it's like not even on the screen. Anyways, I'm going to be filming my July. July favorites! It is my last um, favorites video filmed in this apartment. I feel like I look like a grease ball. I probably should have fixed that before. It is my last July favorites, or my last favorites in general that I'm going to be filming in this apartment. Really kind of sad, but I'm in the process of moving. I don't have a ton of favorites. But actually, I feel like I have a decent amount, and I just forgot most of them over there, so I'll be right back. Alright, so, yeah, I don't feel like I have too many favorites, because honestly, I've had to pack a lot of my stuff away and use what I have. Um, so, I have a lot of random -y favorites, not that much makeup -y favorites, but let's go ahead and just get into it, starting with foundation. I think I mentioned this last month, but you guys, I'm still obsessed with this. Don't mind my icky little band-aid. I decided when I was at work to stab myself with a push pin while I was on the phone with my brother. I don't know why. I didn't mean to, clearly. But I did it, and yeah, gross. So anyways, um, this Youthful Wear Foundation, Spotless Foundation from Physicians Formula in the color Medium, is like my holy grail, you guys. Like, I literally am obsessed with it. It's not the best coverage, but it does cover enough for me, and it leaves my skin just looking really nice. It doesn't hold up amazing, but it's like good. I just really like it. It's very natural looking, and it wears off well. It doesn't wear off patchy. It doesn't dry my skin out. It doesn't make my skin super oily. It's just phenomenal. It's pretty much what I've been wearing every day to work, um, and I love it. So great for hiding, like, small hyperpigmentation spots, which is what I have. And you can also build it up in certain spots more than the other, which is what I do, because that's what I'm dealing with. Um, my favorite blush this month, I reached for an old one. Um, this is the MAC Well Dressed Blush. This is not pigmented at all. Like, a lot of stuff from MAC is super pigmented. You can't even see this. Like, it's not pigmented whatsoever. But with the light, like, with a when you build it up, it's such a pretty nice pink. I really, really like it. I've been reaching for it a lot because, like I said, I've, I literally limited myself to five blushes, which is crazy for me because I have, like, I don't even know how many blushes. Probably an obscene amount. But anyways, I've been reaching for this a lot, a lot, you guys, this month, and I love it. So I apply it with a small brush and kind of, like, really pat it on there, and I love it. It's phenomenal. So, been using that a lot this month. I um, did a mascara review this month, my first impressions. I do them every single Friday. If you do not watch them, I will have this month listed down below as well as the playlist from all the other first impressions that I've done on my channel. Um, but this month I did L'Oreal Mascara and specifically the one I absolutely loved was the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I've never tried this before. So happy that I picked it up and tried it. I love it. It's way better than the original one. And it's very similar to my Jordana Best Lash Extreme, which I ran out of this month. So, love, 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 love this stuff. Oh my god, balls! Totally recommend watching my review listed down below if you are interested in checking it out. I have a lip product here, and I wore this in some of my videos this month, and you guys really seem to love it whenever I wear it. It is Adisa Baba, I think, and it's a, a NYX Matte Soft Matte Lip Cream. Hello! It's so, so pretty. Like, I'm pretty sure I have a video of it, like, of me wearing it on this month, I think. But it's just a really gorgeous pink. Like, it's so pretty. And I love wearing it when I'm wearing super simple makeup. I think I have an actual Girl Talk Getting Ready With Me video where I feature this lip color. I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to watch it. Um, and then my last kind of makeup-y sort of favorite, not really makeup-y, but it is a nail polish, and I have it on my nails right now. I really like this color. It's called Dance Baby by China Glaze. I know it was from a collection, like, couple years ago. I don't know if they still sell it, but it's a really nice, it looks way better on your nails than it does in the bottle. In the bottle it looks dull and dingy. On your nails it's like a pinky purple. So pretty, really opaque. Probably one of my go-to polishes because it really holds up well and it looks good on both my nails and my toes. And I can wear light pinks to work now. So this one's pretty much my favy. If you can still get your hands on it, I highly, highly recommend it. It's like one of my favorite blue tone pinky purplies that I own. I just I love love. Okay, so moving on with that's all like my makeup y products. Now I have a couple of skincare products. If you guys watched my morning and nighttime routine, you guys have seen these products. But if you haven't, listed it down below because I had a lot of fun filming those and they're super highly requested. I think these were all from my night routine. Um, the, the Jewels or Giles and S whatever I don't know how to say it it's the cleansing oil it's the sunflower cleansing oil I've been obsessed with this you guys know I love the Garnier cleansing oil but this one's really really nice and it does make my skin feel good like I really just like this I um 
got this from a company. A company sent this to me called Gloss 48. I'll list them down below. They're kind of like a flash deal sort of site and you get like 30% off. Um, the sale is already over for this, but um, I'll list it down below if you want to become a member. And um, yeah, I've gotten a couple products from them. I think I have three. I have this the oil and a lotion and I really liked them. Um, it, they don't specifically sell this. I think they do like discount deals like every once in a while. But overall, I'm totally gonna check this out when I'm done with this. I've got a lot left. It's really lasted me a long time. But when I'm done with this, I will totally probably repurchase this because it's phenomenal. So it's, yeah, it's just a cleansing oil. I really like the Garnier one, but I like this one better. It smells good, it just, it's, but it doesn't have like fragrance in it. It's just all like really organic, natural stuff for you, so super love. And um, speaking of organics, I tried out the True Self Organics. Um, if you do not, if you've never heard of these people, you're crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I believe it's the super, super model mom or super, I don't know. Oh my God. I will list her down below. She is amazing. She's like so sweet. She has, has a baby. She's pregnant now. She makes these products and um, she asked me if I wanted to try out the detoxifying facial mask and this stuff is phenomenal. Like I don't know what I've been doing with my skin but I have not had a, like a live active breakout in a really really long time and I do have to say that this is probably one of the main reasons. Um, it's kind of messy at first you have to mix part of it with water and part of it with this because it's just literally um, clay which I was not expecting but it's nice because I don't think it goes bad as quick and it's like sanitary I feel like it's not like you're sitting with bacteria growing in there with moist and yuck so I really do like this um and she says it's like one of the only face masks on the market that really helps treat acne and it's really affordable you guys I will have a coupon code listed down below if it's still active I think it is um I will list it down below if it is. If not, I'll just have her website listed. I believe this is under $20. And um, she makes it herself. And I just think that's super cool. And it's organic. So I will list her Instagram down below too. I hope she doesn't mind. But she's amazing. If you do not follow her, oh, she's so stinking sweet. And she's like an insane yoga person. Crazy, crazy cool. Okay. And then the last product, um, skincare wise and anything wise, uh, is the L'Oreal Collagen Moisture Filler lotion um this comes in the blue jar it's highly highly scented but i love the smell, of, the smell of it it's a very very thick moisturizer i've been using my acne free wash and cleanser and lotion like always and then i put a thick moisturizer on top of it and it's the perfect like combination for me because it doesn't dry out my skin too much acne stuff does not dry out my skin this leaves it hydrated but still i'm getting like acne cleaning i don't know it's just amazing basically um but this lotion is phenomenal so Let's move on to some other rando -y favorites. So, um, I got a new pair of sneakers this month because at work we can wear flip-flops and like Vans and Keds and sneakers like that. And how adorable are these red polka dotted Keds? If you guys follow me on Instagram, a lot of you were asking what these were. And they are the red polka dotted Keds. I got mine from Macy's, but you can get them pretty much from anywhere. I think they're the um, Taylor Swift line. They have navy blue polka dotted. They have a bunch of them. Um, but we're allowed to wear these at work, so I picked them up. They're adorable. I just think they're so cute, like how adorable. But anyways, yeah, so I got like a really small size too and they were horrible to break in, but now I have the little like ankle socks that I got at Journeys and they're so much better now and I can wear them and they don't hurt my feet. But I think I got them in a size six, yeah. They're so cute, so those are them. Then let's move on to other random, oh, let's move on to another fashion-y favorite. I got a new pair of Ray-Bans because I lost mine last month I think during the US Argentina game I think or the something game I think it's the US Argentina soccer game whatever World Cup left mine at the restaurant we were eating at so sad but they were really too large for my face anyway so I got the smaller ones when Nordstrom was having their semi-annual sale and the I don't even know if they were on sale I don't think they were of course not they're the tortoise shell ones my other ones were black but they're just kind of the smaller frames my other ones were way too big for my face and everybody's like whoa Kelly that was a big but I love them super cute I love Ray-Bans they're like my world okay now let's move on to some other random me favorites let's move on to a candle um I picked up a couple candles this month uh, or last month before I moved um I picked up like a rainforest one I think I used them all up in my products that I've used up but this is my last one and this smells kind of like manly but kind of like perfume perfumey it says First of all, it's Paris Daydream, our oh-so-French blend of watery notes, moss, and mandarin. Imagine a long, oh, imagine a day along the Siena or Sien in the city of love. I don't know. Regardless, smells kind of cologne -y, 
kind of girly. Love it. Phenomenal. Totally recommend smelling that. And then I, oh my god, I was contacted by a lovely subscriber and she um, watches my videos. I think the name is Bront or Bronte Design. I will have it listed right here and down below. But she knows how much I'm obsessed with um, to-do notes or to-do lists. I pretty much make a to-do list every single day. It's how I stay organized. And these are so cute. They're chevron and they have like my name printed down below. So I got this. She asked me to like what I would love and I was like, a oh, notepad with my name on it. I should have gotten a clipboard too because I love clipboards. Anyhow, so she sent me that and she also sent me this and I pretty much use this for my morning coffee. I make my own coffee at home like Starbucks pretty much. But, and this one's like got coffee chilling in the bottom. Ooh, I should probably wash that out. Anyways. It's so cute. It's white with like red little hearts on it and it's got a green straw. Oh, it's so adorable. So I was super happy when she um, sent those to me. And then the last thing I have, besides a big old swatch in my hand, is a food favorite. This is pretty random, but they are the Dr. Cracker Classic Three Seed Crisp Breads. They're amazing, you guys. I got these at Whole Foods. Um, they're amazing. I like using like putting brie on them or avocado on them or whatever. They're super hearty, so good. They've got protein, fiber, sugar, no sugar, whole grains. They're just really, really good. They're super thick and hearty and you can put like cheese and tomatoes and basil. They're just really good. So I love these things. I'll eat them for breakfast instead of toast or I'll eat them for a snack. They're really, really good. So those are my favorites. I feel like this video was oh, holy rambly. <laughs> happy to move on to other new exciting things and I totally think I had like just dust because I took down the shelf yeah that's cute mm, sorry that was there anyways I love you guys I hope you all had a great month of July and you're having a great month of August coming up and I will see you all in my next one